Good morning, Stevie. My name's Jacqueline, and I'm going to be your PSW today. I'm just going to wash my hands as I come in. How are you feeling today? That's good. Can I get your name and date of birth? Um, great. So we have the right person. Um, today I'm going to be providing catheter care for you. So the reason we do catheter care is to make sure you don't get any infections. Um, the most important thing today while we do this is to make sure we keep the area clean and then also to keep the catheter in place by anchoring it. So you can either help me with that um, or I can do it if you're not unable. Okay, so before I uncover you or get started, I just wanna make sure I pull a curtain or whatever it is in your working area to provide some privacy for your client as you're going to be exposing their uh, perineum area. All right, so I'm gonna get started. I have gathered some of my equipment here. I have four washcloths, a black bath blanket, I have my soap, my basin, and my gloves. You want to make sure the bed is at a good working level um, and that your bed rails are down so you're not working over top of them. The gloves. Okay, so I'm going to get started just by draping you with the black bath blanket here. Okay, pull that down. I'm just going to tuck this bed pad right under your bottom there, okay? Just in case we spill anything or get on the sheets, then we're safe for now, sweetie. So I'm going to wash my hands again. Get hand sanitizer. Okay. Get put my gloves on. So we just use clean gloves for this procedure. Gonna check my uh, water, make sure it's at an appropriate temperature. So we're just gonna keep that. So your legs there. So would you be able to open your legs for me? Um, bend them up and then open them as wide as possible. If they can't do that, then you're just gonna open them as wide as possible. So we'll lift up here for you, okay, sweetie. So you can see the catheter is in the urethra there. If you can see that okay. It's good. All right, so we're gonna start with the peri care. So we're gonna wash um, the perineum first and then we'll wash the catheter. So I'm gonna take my first cloth, put it in the water, rinse it out. We're gonna get a little bit of soap on it. So we've got that. All right, so if you don't, wouldn't mind you can just keep your legs um, still and open for me. So we're gonna open, we're gonna do the labia majora first. Okay. And then using a different part of our cloth, we're gonna do the labia majora again. And we're gonna change portions. And we'll do the labia minora, change positions, labia minora. And then we'll change positions again with the cloth. And then we're gonna go directly down the knee. Great, so we're gonna change cloths. So we're gonna put this in the appropriate uh, laundry disposal. Or, um, okay, so our next cloth, wet, bring it out, good. So we're gonna do the same thing to rinse. So labia majora, different part, labia majora, different part, labia minora, different part. Lady Menorah. Okay, and then we're gonna go straight down the, the clitoris. Okay, so that one as well. All right, so wash the catheter. I'm gonna get some water on my washcloth, wring it out, get a little bit of soap on there, and then take the catheter. You're gonna go about 10 centimeters down, another portion, 10 centimeters down. Loop around again, 10 centimeters down. And then one more time until you get anything that's there off. Sometimes there can be some sort of uh, built up uh, mucus there and stuff that can be crusted on. So you just want to make sure you get that all down. Okay. And I am missing one cloth. So we'll use one of our paper towels and we'll just dry that off too. Okay. Do you like to leave it there for me? If you prefer 
for me to leave this under, I can. It would make you feel safer for now. No, it's okay, you'd like it out, okay, great. So I will take this out and I will put it in my appropriate laundry. I will coil the tube here, uh, make sure it's coiled and clipped to the bed. Great, so that's catheter care. I'm gonna remove my gloves, I'm gonna put them in the garbage. I'm gonna do some hand hygiene here and if you wouldn't mind, Stevie, if you could just pull down that blanket for me. Yeah, and then cover yourself up. Okay, so we just want to make sure there's no kinks in the tubing or anything. The bag is placed below the bladder, not on any bed rails. Um, uh, just It could get caught in, in the bed rails and it's not really lower, so it should always be on the frame of the bed. Okay, Stevie, so that process is done. Here's your call bell if you need anything. Um, call us um, at any time. I'm going to perform my hand hygiene again. Yeah, I just want to make sure um, I lower your bed back down to the um, appropriate level for you to be able to get in and out and then lower your bed rail on this side so that uh, you can get in and out easily without getting stuck in the rail or your arm caught in or anything. Lower you back up and hide you again because I touch the sheets and that's it.